Hello everyone, I'm Megna. I'm going to explain about uh, how to implement the K, K means clustering on Iris dataset. So here, uh, these are the libraries which we have to import. Uh, first, after that, uh, I'm reading my uh, data set, uh, CSV file and creating a data frame. And uh, after that, I'm grouping my uh, uh, data frame into X and Y sets. Since uh, species is what we have to cluster, species and ID, I'm dropping them and uh, creating X as data frame and Y as species. And uh, I'm encoding uh, y, uh, species, that is Y, as um, uh, using the label encoder. So these are my uh, encoded values. So let's see how uh, K means uh, clustering works. So initially K means itself uh, says that the K number of uh, centroids means uh, uh, means uh, says uh, the number of uh, like centroid means represent centroids. So uh, initially we should uh, take uh, some uh, value for the K so that uh, which says that uh, we need uh, the K number of centroids and we have to initialize them. After initializing we have to group all the nearest uh, 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 points to those centroids and uh, make, uh, make them as clusters. Uh, it, so that all the points nearer to one centroid will be of one cluster and after that we'll be updating the position of uh, uh, centroids according to the uh, mean value of the uh, distances within the cluster and we'll be updating till there won't be uh, till no further uh, movement of um, centroids uh, possible and after that we'll have to find the optimized or best value of okay uh, using uh, elbow method i'll show that so uh, firstly we'll have to model by importing k-means from sks learn cluster and i i have to like i have taken the k range from 1 to 10 and i want to see the like um I want to see which k suits is or rabbit or which k suits better or is best and uh, I am instantiating the k means and uh, fitting it and storing all the inertia values or uh, within cluster the sum of square values into a list and after that uh, plotting all the uh, WCSS scores and uh, K values accordingly and hence here it's, uh, it shows this um, sudden, uh, uh, sudden decrease uh, from 1 to 3 and from 3 to it gradually decreases so we consider 3 as uh, uh, critical or uh, what to say optimum number and uh, using that uh, uh, as k k using 3 as k we find the predicted values predicted classes or and after that i want to visualize uh, on um, uh, here is my visualization for uh, first two columns that is the uh, sepal length and sepal width these black uh, things are these black dots are her, my centroid and this is one group this is one cluster and this is one cluster and this is another cluster this uh, magenta it's a uh, setosa uh, iris setosa and these two indicates a uh, uh, versicolor and uh, virginica so that's all that's uh, this is how uh, you implement and i hope you understand it and enjoy it thank you